Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just checking and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Benefactor Strider, which was released with the Doomsday Host DLC. Now, as you can see, this vehicle is going to cost you half a million, five hundred thousand dollars. And uh, five hundred thousand dollars for an SUV, which is in the sports category, is fucking weird, man. What if, what, why? Why did Rockstar put it in the sports category? I have no idea it is it, look at it it is an suv it should be an suv category but it's not it is in the sport category but anyway we're going to get it purchased we're going to get it into the lsc and sort of see what sort of customizations we can do so you go my dudes as you pull into ls customs you'll see the benefactor strider is in the sports category so as always guys we're going to start this build with 100 percent body armor then we're going to go to the brakes we're going to get race brakes and then we're going to go to the bumper and we've got the front bumper and we've got a good few amount of options to be honest and a lot of them are the same sort of thing, just obviously different colour. So we've got uh, these ones up here with the primary and the secondary. But then it goes to something a little bit different when we go with a bulkhead bumper. That looks a lot nicer. So I think we're going to go with... Yeah, we're going to go with a bulkhead bumper, but in the primary colour. So then we're going to go over to the engine. We're going to get a level 4 engine upgrade. Then we're going to go to the hood. And we get a good few options for the hood also. So obviously we've got the same as the stock. But it's going to be in the secondary colour. And then we've got the rigid, ed hood, rigid edge hood. And then we get it in the primary, the secondary. And then we've got the vented. That actually looks quite cool, man. I like the vented hood. That looks good. And then we've got a race hood. A competition hood. Not sure about that one. And that's it. Not sure about the competition hood, man. It looks a bit... Strange, I think. I think uh, probably this one's the nicest one, in my opinion. So, yeah, we're going to go with a vented hood. So, next, we're going to move over to the lights. We're going to get the headlights, uh, xenon headlights, and then we've got the respray. Now, we're going to go primary color, go metallic, and probably we'll go with this uh, shaft of purple. Maybe this purple that's a little bit nicer. It's got a little bit more of a blue twinge to it. Especially with the um, the metallic pearlescent in there, it looks quite cool, man. The shaft of purple is actually quite smart, though. Yeah, what the hell? Not? We're gonna go shaft of purple in metallic, and then also we're gonna go into the secondary color, metallic, and go shaft of purple. So then we're gonna go on to the transmission. We're gonna get a race transmission, turbo. We're gonna get the turbo tuning. Uh, then we go on to the wheels, so we don't get any option for the suspension on this car, which which is okay because I wasn't planning on getting the suspension anyway, because we needed to sit quite high. Because I think if we lowered this, it would look kind of weird. So we're gonna go straight to the wheels now. Uh, wheel type, I'm not a fan of these stock stock rims whatsoever. They look fucking horrible to be honest. And then we're gonna go off road. I'm gonna go chrome, chrome off road, because I think these wheels are gonna look the tits and they do they look fucking sweet man so definitely gonna go off road and i think i'm gonna go with these amazon rims they look actually really cool man I've, i actually really really like them so uh once we've done that we're then gonna go into the tires and purchase the bulletproof tires and to finish off the build as always we're gonna go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint so you go my bros there is my build on the brand new benefactor strider and it actually looks really cool in that purple really really cool I'm actually um, quite impressed with the way this car looks and uh, obviously the way it accelerates is really good the handling seems okay for the type of vehicle that it is um, obviously snow is going to pay, pay, play sorry is going to play a factor in the way it's handling because um, you know that's just the way it is so the turning does seem quite restricted um, it doesn't want to slide though no, that holds quite nicely, and considering we are in the snow, it is, uh, I've done that quite nicely. Speed acceleration seems okay, uh, top speed seems okay, it's not sluggish really, um, but the type of vehicle that it is in the sports in the sports class is, is just a joke, it shouldn't be there. It should be in the SUV category, uh, and I think in the SUV category it would actually do quite well. Um, but it being in the sports category, it is redundant, it is isn't no good in a race whatsoever. Um, so I really don't understand Rockstar's logic in, in the class that they've put it in. Um, whoa, what the fuck's he doing? Jesus Christ. The truck just pulled right in front of me then, man. What the hell? But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I don't really don't understand Rockstar's logic in the class that they've put it in. It's a nice car. Um, you know, if you want to buy it, because you want a SUV looking type vehicle, it's nice, you know? But I don't think knowing what I know 
I don't think I'd buy it again for 500 grand because that is a lot of money. Obviously, with the um, with the with all the customization as well, that's just added on top of that 500 grand. So I probably spent a good 700,000 on this car, which is crazy, really, because it's a piece of shit, really. It's not good for anything. For free mode, you've got so much more vehicle, so much more options that you can purchase for like a four door vehicle a four door fast vehicle to drive around free mode it's no good in a race because it's in the wrong category um, so other than the way it looks that's the only real selling point but anyway guys that's going to be the end of the video I hope you guys did enjoy if you did please smash a motherfucking like and if you haven't already watched subscribe to my youtube channel for more GTA 5 content and until next time guys I'm out adios